How's it going out there? This is Feed Your Mind. And so after the UFO confirmation in June, so it's been confirmed. I mean, they are saying that there's a deadline for a June release of information about UFOs from the government. So what can we expect from this? Well, we can expect probably this confirmation won't be very much information. I mean, there's a chance it's going to be kind of fluff, nothing super um, impressive, but the one thing that we can take from it is that at least they are acknowledging that they exist and they don't know what these spacecraft are. So that's a big step. Um, but what it looks like they're doing is preparing us for more. And you know how slow things usually move. So with the you know government and stuff. So this first release in June will be something like I don't think I mean the news the news media will be covering it, and I just expect a lot of boring. CNN type stuff, you know, like, cause I mean, look at the pictures they've in the photo, um, no, the footage that they've been releasing. It's just been all the worst footage you can ever like imagine. The footage is not crisp HD 1080p, you know, um, high quality, high definition footage. No, it's some um, lower than SD moon landing type footage from the 1950s or something like the footage is not impressive at all so that's why i don't expect the information they're going to release to be any different like it's, it's like after seeing all the footage they're showing us it's it tells me that they're probably going to show us um release some pretty boring information that they're going to just be blasting all over the media for who knows how long months maybe maybe weeks probably until the next big news cycle comes around we'll be hearing about it for a few weeks maybe they might not even cover it that much who knows i mean um it's just a bunch of boring i just expect a bunch of boring information coming out about this for some reason but i mean because they've been known about these things and they've been keeping it a big secret from us for so long you know and it's like well that means you're, you're doing a controlled release then they don't want to shock the world i don't believe i don't i don't know if they're ready to just you know what's gonna really change and shock the world is when they um when these spacecraft actually become uh come out into the light you know when they come out into the open when these spacecraft um you know like um independence day or something now that's now that's some um, now that's gonna be uh a groundbreaking moment for the for this whole thing so until then i mean and, and i think that's that could be probably what they're preparing us for and i don't know how long they're gonna drag this out though with this slow slow uh release of information over possibly over the year and then you know we're gonna wait and wait and wait i mean look how long they took to even release this stuff and um and so we're gonna it's gonna be interesting nonetheless though i mean just the fact that like i said just the fact that the government is actually acknowledging their the ufo's existence is gonna be a big deal but they don't want to really bust themselves out because i believe a lot of the people that are controlling us right now are non-humans. Yeah, they're, they're they're most likely humanoids. Um these uh, leaders of the world. You see everybody fill into line with the system like go to work, go to school, uh get a job, you know, um go to go to bed so you can get enough sleep for work tomorrow and then get two days off barely, you know. 
this whole system has been set up by them, I believe. These so-called UFO uh, people, aliens, they want to be called. Yeah, these aren't aliens. These, these are the fallen ones that are controlling us, masquerading themselves as aliens. That's how they want to come into the open is, is by um, presenting themselves as UFOs. But the thing that this reminds me of is this is like the days of Noah, right? So the Bible says the end times will be like the days of Noah. So if these UFOs come out, now we know that we're approaching these days of Noah because in the days of Noah, they were out in the open, apparently, um, according to like the book of Enoch and even the mainstream Bible, I mean, Genesis was telling us about the Nephilims and stuff in, in the days of Noah. So, and then all the extra biblical books speak, you know, not all of them, but a lot of them go into detail about the times before Noah. So there's a lot of, um, that's a lot of documentation about the days of Noah being filled with beings that were not humans. They were and but they weren't calling themselves aliens back then. And I, I suspect there was all types of hybrids and uh, chimeras and, you know, just they were manipulating DNA um, and all types of stuff like they were. They were um, animal hybrids and all types of stuff back then. So what we're about to see soon, I mean, it's basically. It looks like, like I said, the ones who are leading this world are them. They're here already. They've been here. They've probably been leading this world since the days of Egypt. Um, these so-called aliens, you know, throughout the, throughout the centuries, they've been behind the scenes and hidden in plain sight, posing as our leaders. Not all of our world leaders, but I believe they're very, I think, I believe they're infiltrated. They have infiltrated the um, system a long time ago, though, where, yeah, they're running the show and they've been running the show. So now that they want to come out in the open, it looks like they're going to be using this disclosure in order to begin to come out into the open. And it's going to be interesting to see this unfold over it could be over the years or it could be sooner i mean we know this is a this is a big step because they're pretty much revealing themselves when you when you look at it like how if they are if the governments if the leaders of the world are already of um the world are already infiltrated with these beings and now they're bring them forth disclosure then that means they they could probably be behind this disclosure right they're announcing themselves basically and i don't know if they want to just like jump right into it full you know full throttle right instantly but maybe they're gonna I, I suspect they'll probably drip it out i just don't know like let me know in the comment section how long do you think this disclosure will take like until they're fully out in the open till we see these spacecraft. We might end up seeing these spacecrafts in the um, sky soon, you know. And we all know that these spacecrafts aren't coming from outer space. They could be cloaked in the sky already. Uh, they could have been up in the sky. They could be coming from under the oceans. Um, I suspect a lot of them will be probably coming from under the oceans, and going into the skies and we might be up uh, we might be in for some independence day type stuff coming up um i just i don't know the timeline like is i don't really go around making predictions but i can kind of like it's, it's fun to kind of speculate so that's just what this is this is a brainstorm video so we're just speculating and um just trying to kind of analyze what's going on with this big UFO confirmation coming up.
So let me know your thoughts in the comment section in the description box. Uh, I'll leave links to more information. Um, also, uh, I'll leave links to my other channels and social media, and I'll leave links if you want to donate to the channel. You can donate as little as a dollar to help keep things going here at Feed Your Mind. Thank you for your support. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Feed Your Mind, signing off.